Alright guys, so I found this uh, interesting, really powerful Young Avengers team here that I wanted to try and fight here in war. It's 560k. I have never seen a Young Avengers team this strong before. And honestly, not gonna, I'm not entirely sure how hard this is going to be. Uh, so we are going to be testing Brotherhood 2.0. Now I am concerned a little bit. This is going to be a huge punch up. And while normally this would be quite possible because you know Brotherhood does work quite well against hero brawlers or, and things like that, uh, I am a bit concerned about Squirrel Girl. She is tier 14. Uh, she can obviously cleanse blinds and things like that, uh, and her ultimate, I believe, also has offense down, so this isn't the best, but we're going to give this a shot anyways at a 200k punch up. If not, we're going to go back in and try and find someone else that can beat them. Uh, and <laughs> so this is going to be quite experimental on my part here, and uh, let's see if we can do it. So uh, this I've just never seen someone invest so much into a Young Avengers team, but this team, uh, this war rather, is not going so well. It's probably not going to go that well anyways, uh, so I'm just using this as an attempt to sort of experiment with different teams and see how powerful Young Avengers really are. You know, maybe I'm underestimating them and they should be worth investing in, so we'll find out. So, okay, let's three times here. So, we're going to get Toad to go, which is fine here. Oh, it looks like Captain Marvel's already in binary mode, actually, so someone went in before here, looks like. So let's draw them together, of course, and blind them. Let's, and it actually did blind Captain Marvel while she's in her binary form. That's probably going to make a little bit of a difference if I could even land Blob slow on anyone. <laughs> okay, looks like we got offense down by Squirrel Girl, uh, and it doesn't miss uh because it hits all the time so that blind didn't actually do much so everyone got so everyone got uh offense down except for toad which is shocking but now unfortunately pyro is <laughs> is offense down so the bleeds aren't going to do that much damage there um, and we are offense down here as well, but we do have offense up so hopefully that counters a little bit does some damage not as much as i would like uh, let's spread those negative stats or uh, extend those stats effects here. We need, I think we need to get Squirrel Girl down actually because uh, let's put a, a disrupt on Miss Marvel. Uh, I don't want Squirrel Girl to start healing everyone up, and so that's a bit of a problem. So we need to try and focus her down if we can, and hopefully, oh, well, they have ISOs actually as well, so that's going to create a different dynamic here, uh, especially for clearing buffs and things like that. So we need to focus on. Oh, God. Okay, she cleansed all of that, so that's uh, an issue still. Get some disrupt going. Uh, looks like Miles is slowly going down, even though we're not actually targeting him. We're not focusing him, so let's see. Uh, Miss Marvel healed up. Oh, boy. Uh, we're starting to take a little bit of damage here. Uh, Captain Marvel, hopefully she doesn't get around back to her binary too much. I think I do have a couple of ISOs on uh, on Pyro, I believe has one. I don't know if anyone else. Let's try to debuff Captain Marvel. Got to slow the offense down. Uh, I'm kind of gonna be using gonna be using Toad. There, there goes uh, there goes Squirrel Girl. Okay, so we're now we're, we're fully charged here. So we're gonna do the Juggernaut charge here, and that did a fair bit. We can probably get Miles down here. And Miles is down. Okay, so we're three left. <laughs> if Captain Marvel gets a bind, it looks... Oh, boy. Uh, Blob is down. We might be... Oh, now there goes Toad. Okay, um, that's a really powerful Captain America Chavez. 143k. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this. I think this is a bit too much of a punch-up. But we did have a... It was a valiant effort, I think. Let's try and work on... Uh, Captain Marvel a bit. Uh, oh my god, those assists! <laughs> oh my god, the extra attacks, holy crap! So it looks like that Miss Marvel has the Skirmisher ISO, and that's making this a lot more difficult. Mm, nope. <sighs> yeah, this is not happening, guys. But it did get awfully close here. Fortunately, I think at the end of the day, we are going to, with all those assists, yeah, and actually Captain Marvel got another binary, so uh, that was the end of that one, and looks like we're just going to have to clean that up, probably. That was quite challenging, and with the striker, I, it's not, sorry, the skirmisher ISOs, I think, which was on 
uh, Cap uh, Miss Marvel there that made that quite challenging. So <sighs> ISO's definitely made a, a bigger difference here. And I think going into traditional teams with ISOs is going to make quite a bit of a difference. So we're going to have to go back in, but I don't expect it's going to be that challenging. We shouldn't underestimate it though, so I'm going to jump back in here <laughs> and clear it with something else. I think, because Squirrel Girl's down, I'm actually just going to use my AIM team against them, and hopefully that works out, because AIM is full of debuffs. They can't clear it really other than the binary, which has already happened, so uh, that should work there. Normally, actually, AIM is really good to fight against hero brawlers, but in this instance, uh, with Squirrel Girl, it makes it very easy to clear Scientist Supreme's moves. So even though she would actually go before, Scientist Supreme would just cleanse all of that. So you need to be a bit more careful when fighting Young Avengers these days, especially with Squirrel Girl. So, And it's funny because I have a 7 red star Squirrel Girl myself, so that is something I will invest into uh, when she becomes farmable. And maybe I'll have a team like this too. And of course, hopefully we have an actual solid real third member of the Young Avengers, sorry, fifth member of the Young Avengers, that's not Captain Marvel. Even though she's not a Captain, she's not a Young Avengers character, I want to point out, uh, but she's the most common person to put in in that fifth slot. So I don't think we're going to have much of a problem finishing this off here. All those debuffs, of course, and it got extended by Graviton, so yeah, this is probably over here. Uh, but wow, that first attempt was actually quite challenging there with my Brotherhood team. I thought we might actually pull it off, but looks like we didn't. Uh, so I had to come back in here with the AIM team. So uh, that was just a quick match there. I had never seen a Young Avengers that high up. So in case any of you do have a Young Avengers or are considering it, uh, hopefully this uh, was a bit eye-opening. And it definitely was for me knowing how difficult it is to kill uh, on the first go anyway. So uh, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.